Uber arrived in Taiwan in 2013. It's popular with customers and gives drivers an opportunity to earn money on the side. A reported plan to ban it then is a blow to some. For me, I feel very surprised. Because to be honest, Taiwan's government should focus on improving the quality of taxi services, not just terminate Uber's investment activities in Taiwan. As an entrepreneur myself, I think it's unreasonable. But Taiwan's union-backed taxi drivers have had enough of what they call unfair competition. And the country's investment commission has ruled the U.S. firm misrepresented its business as a technology platform instead of a transport service. Uber drivers don't need to take an exam or get a commercial license, and their prices are lower. So for fairness, we hope the government ends their service as soon as possible. Taiwan's just the latest in a string of countries dealing with the threat from Uber, and the government wants the firm to work with local taxi companies. Uber drivers own their own cars so they're cleaner and better and more reliable. I've experienced official taxi drivers picking their noses and eating nuts and there's always an odour. Bad smell or not, the problem isn't one to be sniffed at. A final decision on Uber's future in Taiwan is due next week.